it is weird that you have to spawn in to uh Wow, I gotta do this every round? Gross. Um, do you know how to set the logos and stuff? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Strategic command online. All right, Spitz, British, good, got it. All right, and we are live. We've got Spit versus Raven. Uh, Project Raven, Rogue Raven, uh, they are a coalition on Narva AAS V2. Spit has decided to make 12 squads. Uh, the larger squads have 6 in them, so it looks like they are taking full advantage of getting max amount of specialist kits and making sure they have a lot of medics and whatnot. A lot of two-man squads, just squad leads and uh, medics, so they'll probably be putting, running around putting rallies down and just uh, switching squads to spawn off of them. They're very tough to play against for that reason. Yes, they are. Uh, I've got Helidoff over here, co-cast with me. He's one of the refs for this, so fi figure he's going to be here. He can at least talk. Uh, do you have slow-mo? Yeah, I probably oh. won't be talking too much, just some commentary here and there. But hey there. Hey! Looks like Spit's doing a very large rush over Oru Village. Uh, we've got squad 8, 5, 7, 9 all going all around Oru. A couple squads going on the back cap. Judging by their move marks, they're not saying a whole lot in squad chat. They're probably in Discord discussing what they're doing. Um, Raven keeping their stuff pretty close to the chest. Only squad 6 has a marker out. Going... Look, have fun. I'm going to the opposite side of uh, Oru Village, so Raven's trying to get a very aggressive push onto the west side of Oru Village. There's no way they're going to be able to push through that much spit coming in from them. I hope they have a backup hab going down somewhere. Should be an interesting rollout. Uh, always love watching the rollouts, especially these top tier teams, and I extremely love watching a Lodgy flip or get stuck. Makes me happy. It's really fun. To watch the fights over Oru at this level of play, you talk like four or five teams. They it's just a slug fest on Oru every time, um, and it's really fun to watch the retakes and the level of play, like the burning of rallies by vehicles and moving of Hab from this spot to this spot. Um, it's uh, really complex and really fun. Usually, it's like 15 to 20 minutes of a really good fight on Oru. Yeah, um, British gets a CTAS and a Warrior. Where does the Russians get two BTRs and a BMP2? Uh, that BMP2 is definitely going to be a key factor here. If uh, the Brits are able to take out that BMP2, that should give them armor superiority. Uh, but you know, the uh, Russians only really have to take out one piece of British armor to make the same thing happen. And we're live, rolling out now. And smooth roll up for Spit. It's actually not taking out the BMP. Interesting. So we'll follow these guys into Oru Village. I'm going to assume in this ocelot that is just loaded to the brim with infantry are going straight there. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, let me clear up the map before it happens. Uh, looks like Spitz dropping off one guy at radio. Raven slightly behind in the cap race. Basically just distance there. I don't think there's any timing issues. Uh, Spit is splitting their armor. One north, one south. And it looks like Raven's keeping theirs together. Uh, the warrior should have no problem facing two uh, BTRs, but the CTAS might have an issue. And that first squad did indeed go straight to the west side of Oru Village. And we've got Raven coming in with their Lodgy. Spit right behind him with a Lodgy. Look at the overview, make sure there's nothing else going on. Yep, so it looks like the entirety of the team fights is going to be on Oru Village. Raven put, sent more people to their back cap, and Drizzle gets the first kill of the match. Uh, 
I'm gonna rep on the southwest farm, by the way. Pex gets the second kill, Spit definitely starting to get the kills going for him. Looks like they're kind of just skirmishing at uh, Oru Village. Not really a whole lot of aggression from either side. Spit's trying to flank around on the south side. Uh, Spit's also got the counter to the Raven North push. Spit up four kills already. Foundry looks pretty clear. Five kills. Um, Looking at the big picture again. Uh, I'm going to push up east. Uh, Raven only spent a squad to Oru Village, and it looks like Spit sent psh, most of their team. Zebra. Absolutely just supplied that water fob. Can you bring 500 build to the bottom fob? Yep. Zebra starting to counter finally. Drizzle still mowing people down. Habs up, marked. Raven's Habs already been marked on Oru Village. Down on uh, my helmet mark, there's guys... Crow and Spider flanking on the north side from Spit, trying to get around Raven. Mortar's coming down from Raven onto Spit's buildings. And the BTR is now here and helping out Raven's push. Kills are pretty balanced at this point now. Raven's starting to get more. Box of Demons takes out April, or Appy, and is getting mowed down from through the wall. Raven Mortar is coming down, drops right on top of Mayonnaise there. And Raven really starting to pick up the kills now. Uh, did we just see a warrior go down? Is that what happened? Nope, still up. So, still a slow slog over Oru. Spit's got a very wide flank on the south of Oru village now, and they pretty much abandoned the north. Few feelers on the north. Uh, the Ocelot was just killed by James. I think this fight in the north is going to be pivotal. If Spit manages to take the north and the south, they'll be able to slowly start fishbowling them in. Raven Mortars and uh, Spit Mortars both landing all around Oru. Looks like uh, Spit Mortars may be trying to take out a Logi truck. Ooh, we don't want that on. So, Spit Mortars very concentrated all in the same spot, trying to keep them stuck into this hab. Uh, they are wounding Raven as soon as they spawn in. Raven's having issues pushing out. Oh, on the south side, it looks like Spit's slowly starting to wrap around on the south side. Does Vex get shot in the back by Sinio? Nope, playing peekaboo around the building. I think he knows he's up there. Coming down on the south side, we've got four, three from Spit, pushing two from Raven. 130 mil, south side quarry. Uh, BTR called out south of Quarry, probably by Bob Ross there. Really slow aggression here on the side on the south. Yeah, Spit the mortars over here are, are pretty telling. They're calling for help on both north and south sides. I mean, you can see it in the frags, they're just not quite winning the firefights. I mean, f looking at the downs, Spit's only up by 6. 
Uh, they're definitely getting a lot more kills. It looks like Raven's giving up a lot faster. I think they realize they're outnumbered. They need to keep bodies on the point. These uh, Raven mortars are definitely slowing down Spitz advance, but I think Spitz mortars are just off their mark uh, from stopping Raven from being able to get out of the building. Uh, looks like we have Spit playing over here on the east side. Um, Two-man squad. Really just going around for feelers, trying to find out uh, enemy habs. Spit's trying to be everywhere at once. Uh, squad 4 from Spit, stopping squad 3 from Raven from getting down a hab at uh, Marketplace. I think that's what it's called, right, Nate? So Raven is trying to play the long game, and Spit's just not letting it happen by having bodies everywhere. Uh, Raven's got bodies up at Old Barracks, sniffing around for habs. Both of the, or one Raven BTR up in the north marked. The other one in the south is marked as well. Uh, I believe both British armor pieces are still up. Can't you got some build? Can't oh, bro, see the us. second one. Uh, BRDM just went down for the Russians. So, Spit has taken out armor, or their scout car, and Raven has taken out uh, Spit's ocelot. Uh, north side of Oru has been almost resecured by Raven. Crow and Spider still up here and causing an issue. I believe the rally just got wiped by Alta Franz. Alta Franz whiffs with his burst. Uh, that's huge right there. That could have been an easy kill. Where is Sick looking at? Oh, now he's looking at nothing, he's dead. Uh, Spit has 55 knocks to Raven's 48, uh, but definitely have the kill count going on for him right now. Slight ticket lead for Spit, just in kills. Uh, Raven did manage to capture Oru Village. That could be good for Spit, they may be able to uh, get the neutral there. Get more tickets. Uh, Spit is indeed capturing Oru Village at the moment, 81%. Raven had like 20 people on it a minute ago, but they've re that now. yeah they've reinforced the south from that fire team from Spit. 30 mil on the south side from Raven doing some work, slowing down Spit's advance. Mil hit once with hat. Oh, 30 mil might go down. Just got hit by a hat. Let's see if we get a follow up. Dropped him to 30 percent. All I need is a lot. Or if the British armor were to push up. But I think that BTR is going to manage to get away. Uh, 43% on Oru. Spit's still capping. Raven's trying to be everywhere at once, but not doing a good job of getting their numbers sorted out. South has been yep. really good. It's just been Was there any one super you? even. Hasn't moved anywhere the whole match. Uh, yes, yeah, Spit keeps pushing up these rocks and then slowly getting killed. Prophet engaging yeah. Brishalock. Akko's probably waiting for him to peak the hill. Does Paco see him coming up in the open? He's gonna see it now. Prophet. Gets uh, Bosch alike and then gets killed in the back by Paco. Spit getting closer and closer to the Raven Hab, pushing this south side. Air strikes up in a minute and 20. Looks like Mayonnaise and Drizzle were trying to get close enough to proxy this Hab. Lee, that's F6? F7. One of those keys. Spit's still pushing up in this hab. Mortars are sl slowing down Raven from going to push out. Got this run in. Can we get the second mortar? So my motor. Can you be careful? Fight on the south looks like it's starting to become more and more Spit favored. Yeah, I was just about to say. Just as I said that. There's two on the motor. 
Alright, we've got two guys from Spit that have probably briefly proxied the Hab. But it's up again. Alex and Wolovo just need to push it a little closer. They could probably stay inside this compound they're in and manage to proxy that Hab. Raven's getting more and more fishbowled on Uru. Well, let's... What's happening on the grand scheme of things? Uh, Raven capture, pushing up north of Oru, south of Old Hospital, and get any more ground. Maybe trying to attack? Probably just trying to clear out Spit. Three Raven goes down. I believe it's all to Benny, right? Nope. Benny and Trixie, I think, took those two out. A uh, brief moment of silence. South side still uh, Spit favor. Have they wiped the rally? Yes, Spit has wiped the southern rally for Raven. That's going to allow them to have a lot more freedom of movement. Uh, I love watching in spectator cam when there's two guys right on the other side of a building from each other. Who's going to push first? We need better rallies around Old Hospital. Twerk goes down. Are they taking radio or hab? Alright. Uh, Nothing happened from that firefight. Oru Village now neutralized in favor of Spit. Spit's 52% on cap and they're stalled. Capping again. And old hospital radio is going down to Raven. I believe they're just on the hab, not the radio. Yep, they're digging the roof off the hab, but they're right next to the roof. Yes, yeah, it's been pretty good in Oru, but they've been looking good for a while. They haven't actually. Spitz not going to be looking good in Oru in a second. Soviet airstrike coming down on Spitz hab in the open. Uh, it's not really in the open, and I think the airstrike gets it through this roof, but I don't think it completely destroys it. It's hard to get. Definitely is. So we'll stand by for the ear rape, and see what happens to the hab afterwards. It's coming in from this direction. There it goes, there's the shots, and there's the ear rape. Hab is... Down a level, radio is on bleed. Uh, Spit should easily be able to get back there. Looks like Mayonnaise is just going to run back, dig that back up. Should have no issues there. Oru's still getting, still contested. But Spit, again, fish bowling Raven on their hab. Everyone inside the Raven hab is dead. And Drizzle's just confirming that, and they'll get that, that dug down. So, while Spit has lost their old hospital hab, I think they're recovering it. Um, so they should get that back up. Not a big issue there. We've got caps on Oru, but Spit does not have a contingency plan for Kanepi yet. Um, taking this Oru village is probably the key point here, and they understand that attacking Kanepi Road is a little bit easier. Old hospital hab's coming back up soon. We got back. Spit's recovered the old hospital hab, and Spit still owns the south side of Oru. Uh, doesn't control the north side per se, but they definitely have people looking out that way. I say as Raven is approaching from the north side. Got clowns and Clan B pushing in. Have something on power. Uh, looking at kills, Spit has 110 to Raven's 54. Uh, Spit's with 45 revives and Raven at 30. You should be Kenji. Definitely out shooting him in, in this. Scout car, power plant, go north. British armor pushing up into Oru to secure the the cap. Uh, that's one thing you can say for both of these teams. Armor's been very conservative, and they're not just wasting tickets. Getting in, getting a few shots, and getting out. Uh, is there any AT from Raven on Oru? Uh, plan B is there, but he's down. That rally's pretty accurate. What's Marcinex doing? Alright. Spit's committed to Oru pretty hard. With that warrior up. I mean, Spit co committed to uh, Oru right at the very beginning. At no point did they step on the brakes. The radio. On the radio, he looks. 
because the armor has been conservative. Yeah. Him? Moved up, that's how I'm feeling about it. Uh, we've got spit mortars dropping in the compound to the south of Oru, this factory. And looking at the big picture, uh, Raven's still messing with his old hospital hab. They're on the radio now, it's on bleed. Two more guys from Raven are going to come back. They're going to constantly keep pressuring Spit to keep bodies on old hospital. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if Spit just says screw it and digs it down, but that is their mortar hab, so they're going to have to defend that. Uh, Spit on the back line on Raven's mortars on Kanepi. Looks like they just uh, used rallies to get to there. Uh, squad 6, all right, yep, so Squad 6 is going to start slowly sp uh, spawn cycling on that rally. We got Spit over here trying to sniff out the radio. Yo, if you're on the mortar, mortar the east side of the tab. Shouldn't have to say that. Come on. A little bit of uh, anger in uh, Drizzle's voice there in chat. Alex, you gotta come back. Looking good on that side of Oru again. They're not bad, at least. 139, Kanepi. We're back to this place again? Back to these rocks and trees all over? Yeah. They're, even old hospital has get, they're, they're getting back on pretty well, actually. Yeah. I mean, Spit got the, the ticket swing, but Raven can counter it by getting their own ticket swing. I think that still is a net positive for Spit, though, right? I'm just going north right here trying to get this rally. Yeah. BTR was just killed by HJ Hort. Not sure that BTR went down, but they are short an armor piece now. Spit mortars are dropping on a dead Lodgy. Kills one guy with that. Uh, Spit is camping the Raven's radio. Uh, they are using that as an exclusion zone around Oru to prevent them from getting anything else down. Raven getting on the north side of Oru again, pushing back in. Raven may be able to get back to that hab and get it built back up and we can be back to square one. Down goes Milwaukee. One Raven guy up in the building. Looks like Wulu is just holding the corner, making sure that uh, Raven can't get back to the radio. Not sure what uh, Grutcha's doing down here. It's getting stuck on the hab. Oof. Spit recovering Raven's uh, hab building. Grutcha goes down. Oh, Wulu camping the stairways. Take him. Takes him down. I can. I can A10 it if you mark it. Calling in for an A10 on a hab. Um, I'm assuming that's the Kanepi hab. Absolutely crazy firefight going on around here at Oru, though. Appreciate the follow, Grungs. This is a really, really good fight at Oru. Yes, it's crazy. Like I, I want to follow somebody, but I don't know who to do. <laughs> I feel like I'd be missing out. Raven with a rally up here in the uh, northwest just spawned in three. One goes down. Looks like Zed took him from the window and instantly got destroyed. Mortar's landing on that rally point now. Alex is saying that they took their hab. I don't see where. Uh, looks like Raven may be trying to mine the main bridge out of Spitz Main. Or they're just doing a wide flank there with the squad leader and the combat NG. I see that might be this may be one of the few rounds I've ever seen where mortars are actually being effective and getting kills. This radius There's no one there right now. Okay. Yeah, both these teams are good mortar teams. Really, really good mortar players. MVP here definitely has to be Woolovo. He's been camping this radio forever, but Cappy's coming up. Oh, looks into the room, he wasn't there, turns around and gets shot in the back. Woolovo's still holding that radio down. Spit mortars are definitely preventing them from being able to push in. I believe Spit also has control over Raven's mortars. Uh, nope, Raven's back on it, so Spit's going to be pushing back up there from... Who knows? Raven uh, BMP's up. 
Yeah, they got a small rally on power plant that they're working on uh, canopy with. I Spit does? That much. The, the fight's still really over Oru. You've got build Listen. on old hospital, let's put another one down. Oh, they dug down the hab completely at old hospital. So Spit's now uh, getting together. No? What am I. Oh, they took down the uh, the mortar. Probably got or counter mortared. Spit fully in control of Oru Village now. Uh, not a single Raven on point. But Raven's still trying to push back into this old hospital hab. Court goes down to TT. No, oh, Court went down to Helix. My bad. Um, and Raven's push on this old hospital mortar hab. Down again. How's Spit push looking on south of Kanepi Road there? UAV twenty seconds. They're calling two RD and four and a half. Over here. So we're just gonna give up Uru and probably hold up on Kanepi. You can see it right uh, now. A10. They're pushing north to hold that. That uh, that it's really hard to cross those railroad tracks there. Yep. Yeah. So Magic might start seeing. We'll see the next phase here shortly. Raven still battling Spit on this south side of Oru Village. They have not been able to get anywhere. Spit's pushed up, Raven's pushed up, and we're back to square one again. At this point, these guys have got to get sick of seeing the same trees and rocks. Parent just gets stuck in a firing squad, and Django and I both caught that. <laughs> uh, sick Ops, trying to push up, chucking grenades. And it's short. Oh, terrible view from through the bush. Uh, you said Raven said they're falling back, but I still see these one squad trying to get some ground where they can. It's a very advanced uh, screening squad of that. Karma goes down. And Spit is pulling off Oru. Uh, we got more and more Spit on the south side of Kanepi moving around. Looks like they're leaving three or four guys on Oru. They may have noticed that Raven has stopped pushing heavily and are using that to their advantage to get more map control. So a strong push from Raven here might dislodge Spit. It's uh, it's not too bad to, to kind of fish full up on can canopy though. If you really get a good cross in there, I mean, you can hold that area pretty well. Like, ignore the rest of the map. Just hold canopy. Yep. You can do it. BRDM scout car goes down again to HR or Hajort. So, Spit is definitely winning the infantry fight. They're winning the armor fight, and subjectively winning the map control fight. Are you fighting a fob or rallies? What do you think? Dude, I can't. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go around south and try to get this rallies. Bro, that's but gotta be a fucking world. Spitz got guys on the north side of Kanepi, guys on the south, guys on the west, guys on the east. They're fighting the new slowly. As long as they win their fire fights, they should start pushing on Kanepi pretty soon here. Um, I'm not sure. We're up here on the northeast side by uh, squads five and four. From Spit or Raven? Oh, no, he Spit, northeast side of Canopy. Uh, yeah, four and five definitely is slowly pushing in there. You've got six on the south side causing some problems. Really trying to push that mortar and dislodge them off that mortar. I, they know where the enemy radio is for Canopy. It's been marked. Uh, their hab has been marked as well. So you may see an A10 come down on that hab and open up the door to push Kanepi. Mikhail goes down to Zed. So this Raven push is being countered. I hear them. Looks like we might... Yep, Luda's managing to flank around Zed, barely in his blind spot there. And Zed just heard a gr grenade go off. Gonna rush towards him. 
Luna goes down. Gotta be careful about those things that make noise. People are gonna hear it if they're, they're close and push you. Especially if they know you just switch from your grenade to a, your gun. They got a couple, a second or two to take you down. Uh, Raven, still on the south side. Spit pushing in further. Uh, I feel like this is a moot point, but at some point something's got to break, right? Uh, Heli, can you tell me what hotkey it is for the, uh, rally point timer? Without me opening up that awful menu. Yeah, I'll open it up. Um, rally point timer is F7. Thank you! Definitely, uh, re-secured Oru village now. Only one raven guy anywhere in the vicin vicinity. And now it's just spit, I think, harassing uh, Kanepi at this point. No major push from spit coming in, but definitely being everywhere and anywhere. Not allowing Raven any maneuverability, any freedom of uh, movement here. Um, yeah, spit armor still sitting in the same spot it's been sitting in the whole game. It's Otter. Um, Otter only sitting on three kills of that armor, but it's definitely preventing them from being able to flank on the south side. Yeah, I think one really key thing to keep in mind, you know, how how high level what these teams are. Yeah. Uh, obviously, spit's spit. Um, Ravens, right there, y'all. They, you're talking about 120 to 200 here. Like, they're getting out fragged, but not incredibly, but what I want to point out is they haven't been losing their fobs. They get fobs up, and they're still keeping people in the right places. They just aren't quite there to frag today. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be your finale match, if I had to guess. Um, and you're getting it out in the first week, getting a glimpse into what's going to happen in, what, a little over a month and a half? Really, I mean, all of the matchups this whenever. week are really good Obviously, because of the way they did up. the seed. It's like one versus two, three versus four, yep. and so on and so forth. So this week is all equal level we teams duking it out. Uh, some of the best gameplay of the tournament is probably going to happen this first week, actually. I mean, we, I would love to see some upsets. I love seeing an underdog story, but... I mean, I got to hand it to Spit and Raven here. They are definitely doing one, two of the best teams in squad right now. Another south push. Uh, Spit's got the numbers on this. They're working together. They're close together. This might be the push that finally breaks it. Neil jumps a wall. Takes out Kerma. Gets killed by Brish... Brishalek? There's only two Russians defending against uh, four British pushing in here. Getting a buddy jump. Prophet's probably going to get murdered. Yep. Shooting through the wall, just hoping for the best. Grenade going over. Good grenade. And the grenade gets him. Got a BMP and UTR coming out over here. We got smoke. Yeah, you got smoke coming in for Raven to try to push on the south side, I think. Not sure if it's a decoy, because there's nothing behind it. Interesting thought. But we've got, what, three spit habs to Raven's one still. Raven needs to get another hab down to be able to outmaneuver. Uh, they could easily push one on the northeast, somewhere east of hospital, and get a new one down. Is that BTR doing anything fun over there? I don't think he's going to be. The motors might be off again. It won't be replaced. Oh, Spit managed to take out enemy mortars? I hear them shoot. They're up somewhere. Do they have a second? Does Raven have two tubes down? They do. So Raven finally got a second tube down. Spit actually managing to win this southern push slightly. Leo Rag is going to be picking up three friendlies. I'm trying to see what 
this majorly happen here. Um, looks like we have a strong presence of spit on the north side of Kanepi. Finally cleared out those uh, warehouses. That may allow them to get a sneaky hab down. That would be impressive if they can get that. Do you want the smoke now? I assume not. Yeah, I'm putting it on my body. I need it. Oh, well, these aren't factory buildings. They're multi-story buildings, so they're able to Can't capture wait. these and really cut off movement from uh, Raven's north side. Uh, this may be the avenue of approach that Spit can finally use to, to push in. But I don't know if Spit really cares to push at this point. Nothing in command chat says they want to. They may realize that they're just out fragging. Yeah, they do a the great job the tracking their kills and their the tickets. Can put one out uh, like far west yeah, there's a really good chance that they just decide to hold that. Keep the frags and, and let it come naturally, but not try to shove. To get the point. Yep, is uh, Raven on a ticket bleed? Well, with their first northwest, we can take care of that first before I can set up a rally way out there. Yep. Well, you can. They'll be on a minus one. Yep, so they know that. They're holding, they're out fragging. Yo, so they they know they don't need to be aggressive at this point. That was probably the entire reasoning of just pushing Oru hard in the beginning. Raven coming in from the west side of Oru Village. Two guys pushing in on the spit hab. Uh, definitely heavily outnumbered. John True pushing through the bushes, gets dumped by a box of old demons. Crazy, that was the first kill from that direction, and he was already looking that way and waiting. This shows you, you know, presence of mind to realize if you're there defending the have, constantly look around. Crow is pushing on Radical. I think Radical's trying to be a little ninja. Nope. Radical's gonna go for the kill. Close north on that one, Mark Box? That's uh, yeah, on the BMP wall. down from the toe, I believe. Uh, they have a toe up? Yeah, down there. Uh, yep, that is what it was from. Tanks. Raven's uh, two man push to the west of Waru is taken out. BMP's down. BTR is up still, right? Yep, BTR's still up. So, still that, that going for them. Raven's starting to push north to resecure the north side of Waru Village. Trying to get spit pushed out. Once you guys deal with the northwest, Penny, come over and help Alex on the east side. Once you're done. And spit is down. Raven resecures north side of Kanepi. Uh, spit actually finally wins the south battle of Oru. Uh, it only took 40 minutes, but they finally s <laughs> took it. Now let's see if Raven can push him back out just for old time's sake. Uh, logistics truck goes down. Another airstrike coming down on that hab to the west of Oru. Does it co does not completely destroy the hab, and it's probably on bleed. So Spitz already getting back there and resecuring it. Something you see a lot in matches is people just not following up their commander actions. I mean, it's great to get that hab down, but what does it do you do you if you can't actually push in and secure it? May have been some sort of like uh, desperation Down. hope to maybe get the radio tickets kind of thing. Possibly. We should probably rotate more so Apparently, I not having a good time. British shooting at him from multiple angles. Only gets one. Uh, gets two actually, and Zed bleeds out. Their rally must be southeast exit. Yeah, don't worry about us anymore, Kenji. We're good here. Uh, Spitz calling out local that Raven probably has a rally southeast of them on the south push, and it's just their hab. <laughs> now profits and uh, getting shot from multiple directions. Trades. We get mortars and mortars down, down for minutes. Where are you placing? Uh, nothing crazy going on in Oru. UAV again. Squad three from Raven still going around in the back lines trying to cause some headaches for Spit. Um. But yet Spit has had amazing map control this whole round, in my opinion.
using those two and three man squads to their fullest, flanking around, causing headaches, making Raven have to look in all directions constantly. Um, 114 revives for Spit. That is insane. 69 for Raven. That is a crazy amount of revives. Yeah, they do a good job getting revives. Always. That does come with winning your firefights, though. I mean, you gain the ground to get the revives. That is true. In the beginning of this, the, the firefights were pretty even if you looked at knockdowns, but it seemed like Raven was giving up a lot quicker than Spit. Spit's... Well, you can do that if you're, if you're getting the frags, but just that extra 10%, right? So you're actually slightly winning that fight. That's all that's needed to get to that one build in to get that one revive. Yep. And that becomes two, and so on and so forth. One down. Raven Mortar is coming down on the south push from Raven, or for Raven Mortaring Raven, derp. Raven Mortaring Spit on the south side. Uh, pretty ineffective mortars it looks like overall. Kind of seems like they're just spreading them out and hoping for the best, trying to slow them down. Uh, but I will say Raven is doing an excellent job of ticket management here. They've been at, what, roughly 20 tickets for the last, what, three or four minutes? Uh, we got Spit Boys pushing in. On to Raven's Hab on Kanepi. A lot of spit on Foundry there. Okay. No, we got two guys from Spit on Kanepi. There were like five spits now um, here on this Foundry area. They slightly won the fight, got all the revives. Yeah. Now Raven. is the other way, and that's a completely different story. Yeah. Raven's now having to push through the open. Math Masters gets destroyed by a 30 mil. <laughs> And Spit has completely dominated the southern side. Raven's still got that two-man squad up in the west side. Causing some headaches. Probably not as much as they wish. Uh, TT drops the logistics trucks, getting more tickets out of Raven. Uh, Spit starting to get more and more bodies on a Kanepi as Raven's not giving up, giving them more room to push. Alex running through the building, uh, taking down Raven as he moves. Seven tickets remaining. And Alex trades with another. The funny thing about that trade though that just happened is Box of Demons runs up to Alex and asks him if he has a bandage and then Alex dies. And he's running in circles trying to figure out where the guy's at and Jeep shoots him in the back. <laughs> That'll make a fun clip later on. Uh, Raven's Hab is being proxied by Spit, Prophet Zed, and Wolovo. Yep. BTR starting to spray rounds into the the Hab. Actually, gets it almost back up. Wait, did that mortar fall through the roof? Oh, Bert did that. Nice. I thought those were spit mortars. No, they weren't TKs. They were raving. Yeah. Excellent mortars. Another mortar wounds Drizzle as he runs in. Bert drops another. Takes out Vex. And there's the round. 250 to 0. In favor of Spit. Let's do this. Crazy match. Get the screenshot. I'm sure, that's your job, though. Uh, notable call. It's 16 with mayonnaise. 13 for Zed. Uh, 10 and 2 for TT. We've got the um, anything crazy on Raven side. 10 and 3 for Bird on the mortars. It's pretty impressive just for mortars. So we'll have a five minute break. I will update the tickets here shortly. Oh, it's 250, right, Ellie?
It was. Let me look. Um, if my stream exactly two fifty. Uh, my computer's deciding whether Squatch should crash or not. And there we go. So that was a pretty impressive match all around. Um, you know, I think that came down to just out shooting. Spit definitely had a better strategy, I think, to start with. Uh, fooling, full on rushing Oru. And I'm kind of interested to see why uh, Raven decided to put, you know, what a quarter of their team or maybe more off to the east on Kanepi instead of full on committing to Oru. What's your thoughts on that? Um, sorry, I'm a little bit uh, trying to find the rules for breaks. Usually, there would be a server role, but uh, in this case, we'll probably just do like a five minute break since we're not switching servers. Yeah. Uh, we're just asking like for like the round feedback. Yeah, asking for round feedback. Uh, I just came down to firefights. That's all it was. Raven is exactly where they need to be, pretty much all the time. They're really good fraggers. There's a reason they didn't get rolled, and that was a 45-minute game. There's a reason they weren't losing their fobs, because, again, they were there where they needed to be. Just, they got out-fragged. That's all it comes down to. Uh, I definitely think it comes down more to Spit committing more people to Oru at the beginning there. Uh, looked like Raven only committed 9 to 10 people, whereas Spit committed probably 20+. plus. I think if Spit had realized that they had the number advantage that big, they would have pushed a lot harder. I don't know. That's uh, I've seen them run that that strat a little bit. And I've seen very similar strats, where you set up for Oru itself and then Southwest, and shoot for the the slow map control, because when you gain it that way, as opposed to just body in the cap, it's a very natural progression into canopy. Yeah, I'd be interested to see some of the other opening strats from the other teams. Go back and look at that after this match is over. I would have liked to see uh, Raven try to drop a hab east of Old Barracks just to get some more presence up there. Be able to move around the map a little bit more freely. But I don't know if they were would have been able to commit too many people to roam in the back lines. Because it seems like when they were trying to do it early in the match, Spit kept finding him out and shooting him down. So maybe they decided against it. I feel like Spit's armor play was very conservative, and it paid off in the end as well. Uh, Raven was conservative for the most part, but they would try to push people or vehicles in when they thought they had an opening, and... Uh, constantly taken down. That toe up there I didn't think would be a big thing, but got a kill, so worth it in the end. BTRs are definitely way more mobile. It can get in and wipe a squad and get out, but not if you don't give them any map control to be able to push, out, push around. Dança, gatinho, dança. <laughs> Are we rolling for the next match? Or just yeah, that's, that's rolling prior problem. to? So it's a little bit different. There's not really a rule on this, because yeah. normally you would switch servers, but both teams just agreed to play on the same server right it's before the match anthem. started. It's not really a rule, so I just figured I'd give them a, a few minute break, and uh, we'll have to double roll into it anyways, because we didn't set the next layer, which I should have done. So we'll just have to roll one more time into it here in a couple minutes. Okay, so I still got a minute or two to... About a minute or two. We'll roll pretty quick. Oh yeah. You guys won't want to break. That's fine. I was smoking a cigarette outside. I wonder if uh, Spit's going to try to do the same strategy, basically. All in on Oru again. Or if they're going to try to do all-in on old barracks instead. 
and go for that immediate one ticket bleed. This is a challenge with side to strap for because uh, the timing works, the fight's always over Oru. Um, and you've got the bridges to worry about. Now you can cross on the river on the north side. And if you're good at it, you can take no damage. But um, the timing to Oru and the difficulty to get out of main makes the Russian side more challenging. So I th most teams, I think, at this level, they just do something light on canopy. They put two squads on Oru, a couple bodies hospital, and a couple bodies barracks. And then, you know, give or take how, how many you put hospital barracks. But you've got to be strong on Oru. You, that's, that's where the fight is here. Yeah. Yeah, getting to Old Hospital from the Russian side is not ideal. It's definitely a longer path. Going down main routes, where if they send armor up that road, they'll definitely take you out timing-wise. I feel like the uh, the mains in this are a lot more difficult too with the Russians having to use those three bridges as opposed to the Americans being able to have a lot more mo free mobility or the yeah, British. Yeah. Again, there is one spot in the river that you can cross. Um, and if you're good, it's it's tough. I, I can do it and take about half damage, but it is possible to do it where you take no damage. Uh, kind of a... Level, these, these guys know how to do it. Yeah, they know how to do it, but it's still kind of sketchy to do. If it fails, you're, you're screwed. You know, it's, it's interesting casting from uh, a perspective where, like, I like to see um, rapid movements where they're moving between point and point, but seeing good fights over one point is also really good as well. And I've seen that from both of the matches last night and tonight. Um, they, when they're playing comparable teams, they'll definitely have really good fights over the same point constantly. Are we ready? I'm ready whenever you are. Oh. Sorry, I was typing to uh, talking to the Raven Squad leads. I haven't heard from them if they're ready or not. I'm about to just roll it anyways. Gotcha, gotcha. Guys came in your ass as you fell asleep. Oh my god. Damn it, Spit. <laughs> uh, he's playing uh, in local chat as the round ended some uh, unsavory. Inappropriate content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? What was it? It was Banny. It was if you listen close, you might hear some uh, some audio from our Lord and Savior Doc Hammer. <laughs> we getting spamming that in uh, Ravenside? No, no. All right, then. So Team Two is now spit, correct? Yes. Yep. F nine. Here we go. F nine. F9! Oh, come on, dude. Really? Uh, I gotta reconnect, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm already spawned in, though. That, does that cost some ticket if I leave? It will. Fudge. Alright, well, uh, I guess I just won't do that. What are you trying to do? I can't set up my settings or get rid of the caster overlay thing. Awesome. I don't know what to do here. Try, uh, try to change teams. Uh, Gango didn't end up switching anyways. Switching teams will also 
definitely. That costs a ticket. I just don't want to cost him a ticket. I think if you DC it doesn't cost a ticket, but... I'll live with it. Twitch you do live with it. Better than costing the ticket and delaying around for something stupid, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, like, none of the F9's not doing anything for me. That's weird. Um... Hmm. Is there a button stuck? F9? Nope. Yeah, I got nothing. No idea. So, uh, sorry guys, you have to deal with it. I think I can actually do it this way. It'll look gross, but it'll work. Bingo. Here's your sweet icon, where it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh god. Uh, text. Properties, but when first round by 250. This is so janky. <laughs> Massive devil head and uh, boom. Never notice. It's beautiful. <laughs> God, it's so bad. <laughs> well, that's good, kiddo. Which do you just throw a widget over it? Yeah, basically. Boom. <laughs> I'm still stuck with this stupid caster key thing that I can't get rid of. But, whatever. Alright, should be getting Spitz rollout here shortly. Uh, sorry for all that. Massive amount of marks. Looks like Spitz it is not going all in on Oru. Uh, sorry, didn't really get to see all that, but we will see what happens here. I'm going to assume Drizzle with a full Aji is going to be the main person to watch. So, hopefully Drizzle takes us to the fight, boys. Um, point of note though, Spit is taking out the BMP, getting on the high ground east, or just west of their main, and trying to get some good scouting information from up there, stopping in Raven from being able to push him from the north side. And there goes the first engage. Uh, didn't get any kills with it. it looks like they disabled Raven's Logi, possibly? Not sure, but Spit is definitely committing a decent number of forces to Oru. BTR is coming down the railroad. They may be able to hit the uh, Raven Logi truck. Uh, that's, They're that's still engaging. Right there. No, uh, that, rock, that rock's blocking it. Uh, nope, didn't get any kill. Oh, there goes two. Was that the squad lead though? Alright, at least I can get the overlays on people. Uh, nope, radio's down, hab's down. Well, that was great, great for Raven to go there. A, a one second difference, and that would have gone way different. Spit mowing down pe people, you've been manned. Um, not sure where he's at. 
But Spit definitely getting a lot of early kills. Logistics truck killed. Raven, logistics truck. And Spit has a lot of control onto Oru with those BTRs helping out. Uh, Spit has retreated with the BTRs down to the south side. And Ravens brought their armor up into Oru. Slight cap uh, advantage for the British as expected. Okay, this menu on the left hand side of my screen is going to trigger me this whole match. Uh, Raven getting a lot of bodies in after that hab came up. Mortar's coming down for Ravens, blowing down Spit's advance. Uh, Spit might be just playing for the cap here. Uh, they've got bodies up near Old Hospital. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. This Raven armor definitely helping out, stopping Spit from being able to push anywhere. Um, be interesting to see a spit lat or hat take its track down and get it stuck there and get it killed early. I feel like if you give the Russians full armor control, you're going to have a bad time with those mobile BTRs. Uh, spit mortars are now coming down. Relatively accurate. Oh, nope. Those were ravens. Yes, they just team killed uh, Fazu, I believe. At Paco on the flank. Looking at the big picture, Raven is barely on the outskirts of Oru. Uh, with the cap race, I believe the Rus Russians should get to it first. But Spit doesn't have bodies in position for Old Hospital just yet. They've got some time. Uh, Spit winning the frag right now. They have uh, six more frags. Then... Uh, Raven, and in very early parts of the match, the only thing that matters are the knockdowns. Later on in the game, confirmed kills definitely start meaning more, but early on, just getting that extra time just to get more ground. Am I still showing in the match? Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. Okay, I wasn't sure if I crash crashed or the squad just crashed. Yeah, kind of weird there. He went like further okay. and like these Spit trying to call out enemy vehicles moving around. Uh, Spit's got con or Trixie up at old barracks. They've got contact pushing down to old hospital. Spit is slowly starting to get in position for old yeah, hospital. Uh, have locations I identical this round. Uh, pretty much just not identical. Mirrored, I guess, would be the, the term. Spit put their hab or rally ha or where. Raven had theirs. Not a whole lot of places to put Habs on Oru. Oru Village being capped for Spit. That warrior is still causing a lot of issues for uh, Spit. Hat, Lat goes off onto Warrior. Warrior panic smokes and is running away. My bad. That was a hat. So that was a C task they had down there, and the hat takes it down to 38%. Friends on the bond, I'm doing UL stuff. Spit may be able to take out that C task. Looks like mortars are dropping. Me, uh, stopping uh, Raven from being able to push up on Oru. Uh, big picture, Spit is still managing to push around to Old Hospital. They need to get in there, slow that cap down, and give them more time on Oru. Raven Mortar is taking out Spit Crow. Alex managing to push up very close to the CTAS and the HAB. Um... Oh, I don't know if Alex knows that Raven managed to get a repair station down. So the C test is being repaired. 
Alex goes down to mortars? Nope, he gets shot. Repair station down for mortars. Sorry about that. Shouldn't have that issue again. And Helidolf's back with us after some technical difficulties. I think it's a uh, small issue with Squad Masters mod, where it's an issue every now and then. Not 100% positive on that one. Uh, anyway, back to the fight. Uh, Spit is slowly getting bodies on near Old Hospital. Raven full on full court press on Oru Village, and Raven is now having to pull back to get back on Old Hospital. Uh, Spit's calling out they're pushing their hab. The hab is in the open. On Kanepi. Ooh, Raven Hab is in the open southwest of Old Hospital, so we might see an airstrike on that. Um. Yep, Hab is in the open. So, Spit could airstrike that, but Spit is being pushed to the east of Kanepi. Uh, they're attempting to push Spit's uh, mortars. I need help the east, so Alex is playing his lane. Alex, you need to go back to your lane. Let Penny and Crow play east. Yeah, okay, okay, let's go. A lot of panic in Spit right now in comms. Oru Village under attack, Kanepi under attack. Court may be getting a mortar kill here. Court drops one mortar tube. TT pulls off. Uh, he's a crewman though, so he's gonna have issues with that longer range engagement there. I would love to see an iron sight kill at that range. Court or TT, make it happen. The, uh, the other ref actually just called out that he crashed as well. Okay, so. This is me. That's weird. You two crashed, and I had an issue with my squad master's more mod, more so I'm assuming it's squad master's issue. No more yeah, well. that's unfortunate. <clears throat> yep, I'll bring it. We can bring it up to creator. That helmet. Court goes down to Maddie Mice, and spit mortars are say Nope, smog's still up. Need the mortars on the field. Wet down one second. Spit's asking for mortars, and their mortars are definitely distracted by Raven. Coming back to Oru Village. Uh, Spit's really struggling on Oru. Uh, this warrior is still causing an issue. They had a repair station. They, after it got had it, it got repaired. And now it's pushing the hab. It's going to be able to get a lot of shots down. Who? What? H... Hajort managed to get a hat top down onto the enemy uh, CTAS and one shots it from 100% health. I didn't know that was possible, but that's crazy. That is a huge plus for Spit taking out that CTAS, giving it a lot of room. Let's see, let's yeah, if, my, if my memory is correct, it's based on the uh, not the up armored model, so it doesn't have that extra health pool against. Uh, so well, that's the second hat round it's taken. It had a hat round earlier and it got repaired back to 100%. So the top down definitely one shot to C test, apparently. Uh, Spit is immediately countering taking out the Scimitar with pulling in their BTR. And they definitely need this to get back into the game, I think. Uh, BTR comes in, gets some shots off, and says we need to get out of here. Takes a lat round and. Nope. Yeah, it takes a lat round, and is getting the heck out of there after doing not a whole lot. Um, Spit calling out that they, from previous experience with Raven, what he thinks they're going to be doing. Uh, Spit's got bodies around Oru, but not a whole lot in Oru. So they're definitely going to need to start getting more people back in. Uh, Spit coming in from the south side after securing that. Uh, a lot of open ground to cover for Spit to push onto Ra Raven here, and Raven has 
no incentive to really push south. Looking at Knox, we, uh, kills are very close right now. Only looking at a difference of less than 10 for knockdowns and 5 for actual kills. Raven getting closer and closer to the spit hab. It may be proxied at this point. Spit hab is indeed proxied. Struggling to move out. I believe it may be unproxied now. Nope, still proxied. It's got a good rep coming in from the southwest right now, though. Um. Yeah. Down southwest. They've they've been down there for a little bit and haven't managed to get across the road any, oh, recently. Okay. Yeah. I assume you just got back in. Yeah, yeah, I'm back in. Yeah, gotcha. So. Spit looks like they're going to lose Oru here. No more Spit guys alive on the hab, completely wiped out, and now Spit has got to assault Oru. Looking at Kanepi, they have a handful of guys still over there, and they're still being pressured from the east by Raven uh, from a very far off rally, uh, which is really smart on these flanking squads. Raven's pushing, what is that, 600 meters away from their rally every time they push in? But that gives enough time to have Spit have some complacency before they respawn and get back in every time. Spitz BCR is definitely being pivotal and holding ground. Uh, does Spit have a repair station here? Yes they do, it's out in the open. Spitz mortars have not stopped shooting this entire round. Raven's starting to squeak ahead in kills now. We could see an upset here. Uh, God, there's so many marks on the map. Um, Spit's only real team that's near Oru's on the south side. They need to get on the west side and try to pressure that hab on Oru to really have any chance. Oh, just had a five-man spawn on a rally in the middle of Oru. Drizzle drops one. Uh, not sure how Retori didn't hear that. Drizzle drops two. And Spitz got bodies back in here. Raven taking out the hab on Kanepi. That's huge right now. Spitz got to struggle to get back and save their hab. Uh, did they get the radio? BCR is just shooting everywhere around the building, just trying to get a kill here or there. But yes, uh, Raven is on the radio. Where is the radio for this? Why am I not seeing it? Um, oh, it's just being proxied. I'm why can't I figure that out? <laughs> so Court and Smog staying close by, proxying that hab, forcing Spit to have to clear in this to clear in the building. You just reloaded. Smog is just hiding in this corner. Digging. Digging. Digging hab. He jumped in through the window. And Smog's at a perfect corner to hide in. Court still alive. This is crazy to watch right now. I'm trying to watch through the building and see these firefights happen. Like this is absolutely huge. Court finally goes down. Habs unproxy to a trade. That's got to be uh, tilting for Court at the minimum. So now he's got like five seconds. It's too late. I feel like a uh, Smog tried to and they started building it like immediately. Uh, they're still calling out that they're building the hab, uh, that there's one in the building. 
thought they were calling out court up there. They didn't realize it was a trade. God bless America. Check all the fucking <laughs> Yeah, there's two on the building. Six, can That's you get that up? a lot of spit on can if you look at that. Yep. I can. Didn't have a hab, didn't need one. They got rallies everywhere. Not a whole lot of pressure going on Oru. Uh, so Spit's going to be on the ticket bleed here. 304 tickets for Raven. So Spit's got to take out quite a few of those tickets in order to win. Yeah, Raven's going to have to get Canopy to win the game. Yeah. Win the game, win the match. To win the match, win yeah. 250, that's, that's the important part. I'm gonna try and go through. It's a lot to try to win by right now. Uh, Spit is definitely no. full on to Kanepi. Yeah, so then Druza has to play it the middle. At, at this point, if uh, Spit were just to hold on to Kanepi, I think they would be okay. Raven starting to cross to the open ground, getting over to Kanepi. Only five of them, though. John 2 drops Prophet and Boa. And loose on the same mag. They're already in the quarry boys. Yeah, can I help? I'm gonna help you fight uh, from your side. And a fourth. Here, you can have a, uh, a spotlight. Let's see how well you do. I'm sure as soon as I follow John 2, he gets killed. Hey, let's get mortars over here on my boot mark. I have bike marks close up here. What do you think, Kelly? You think the sort of follow me gets killed immediately? I don't know. Yeah. 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 Complete opposite this round. They're really struggling to have that amazing map control they had last round. They do have a hat camping the British main with a BRDM up there, so they're going to be trying to stop any Logi trucks from coming out. Yep, stopped following John 2, gets another kill. Go away, stupid venue. Squad 4 on uh, Russian side is calling for people to, sorry, uh, British side is calling for squad switches to push that rally there. That's going to be huge. John 2 drops another. Drops loose for the second time. BTR coming in for support. BCR is just doing gun runs all around Kanepi. Spit's calling out they're having some issues here. If nothing else, sir. Causing a lot of chaos. Neo gets one kill because of it. Stops a revive. This is beautiful. Just running around, smoking around. A lot of confusion. John 2 goes down. And Spit has re secured Kanepi. Brits up to 282 tickets, 280 now. Spitz needs to bleed off 30 more and hold Kanepi for a while. Yeah, this LPP is camping. Uh, this should be a 60 ticket gain though, right, for caps? I'm not gonna be able to respond to this LPP is that way. Oh, I got a Badoop. It's, it's a positive in favor of Raven, Raven Rose, but yeah, they'll have to get Kanepi to, to really get the tickets to win this. And Raven Mortar is coming down. Kudu kills himself. <laughs> Don't know where that happened, but that never feels good. Uh, looks like Spit Mortars might be being counter mortared right now. That's what those mortars are trying to land on. Looking at the bigger picture, uh, no Spit control in the north, no Spit control in the west, and they're slowly being fishbowled on the north side and the west side. Getting wrapped down into this bottom left quadrant of the map. Uh, Raven's got movement on the south. Engineer puts down a mine near the Russian main. 
immediately respawns, figures that that uh, that mine is worth a ticket, I guess. These Raven mortars are definitely making it difficult for Spit to maneuver. TT gets smacked in the face by Bert from a mortar. I'm gonna come in at the south side. There's a guy. Great gameplay on this northwest side up here. Ah. A canopy. Come and look at that. Why not? I'm just watching mortars hit people constantly. They just burned the rally, so it might slow down. But great trades, great shots. Burn the Raven rally? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it gives Spit a little bit of breathing room. 276 tickets for Raven. Where? Oh. Uh, Corey is heating up a little bit. I say as it cools off and I get over here. They're calling for a Lodgy at Quarry right now. Trying to get another hab down on Quarry. That's interesting. So. Uh, Majord killing off people on the south side of Quarry, so. Um. A little concerned about that. I think it's doable if they come in from the northwest side. They probably get in there. Kenji, you bring your Lodgy or? I'm gonna try it. It's there, but I'm just gonna push it. Uh, Spitz asking for a rally or for a lodgy. Not sure what for. Maybe for a resupply, but I don't see anywhere where they could theoretically get one down. Uh, they may be planning for a backup on power plant. I think that's what they're actually trying to do. So, Spit already working on a contingency plan. Raven Mortar is still pestering the shit out of Spit. Bert gets another kill. Kenji, you can cross the river. Yeah, Raven know. does seem to be gaining ground here. Very much so. Uh, we've got a radio up in the north side. Uh, Raven's getting a hab down north of Kanepi here. That's. That's gonna be huge. Uh, looks like Spit already knows it's there, and immediately starts dropping mortar rounds on top of them. Um, he's just slightly off, but he should be able to drop it through the roof of that and actually get it in. They're close enough to close enough for concern, but I don't think close enough to do damage yet. Yeah, you can keep one person inside that. Keep that up pretty easy. It's on stakes right now. If he was accurate with those first yeah, six yeah, shots, yeah. it would knock it down. About 30 seconds. Let's see if we get any more coming in here. He called that good. You gotta be careful, Kenji. They're on that side. Yep, I think he just called it good after that barrage. Oh, uh, Raven's got the half of a run. Hack it on the On a canopy. Jeez, Spit is... Spit's got people in there, but... Logistics trucks gets killed by Otter. Bits calling out local Zog that he's stopping the enemy from pushing up, so Spit knows that they're on the first or second floor. Uh, they're still on this back side, hidden. Both of them. Yeah. I don't think. There's only one way in there, so they can cover that one door. That's all they need. Yeah, it's gonna take them a while to find that. I don't think Spit's gonna realize they need to jump out and jump in to get them. Uh, they should be able to proxy that for a long time, allowing a lot of movement That's from Raven. That's fantastic micro gameplay right there. Yep. Um, let me know if Spit ever figures that out. But Raven on this north side getting more and more ground, tightening the noose more and more. Before, Spit had the bottom right quadrant locked off, and now they're getting swept into Kanepi more and more. Uh, Raven also pushing in from the southeast side. Otter is... Raven, right? To get it down. No, it's Spit. Oh, so Spit's taking out three different vehicles there. Taking out 
more of uh, Raven's tickets, and that's huge for them right now. Oh, looks like Drunk Donut might have finally figured it out. So, Donut's coming in. Smog hears him. And Smog gets the kill. So now Spitz got to push into this one narrow corridor. And just continually get shot. Kudu's getting shot from the distance now, so if they can just hold that corner, this is going to be huge for Raven. Two guys camping this hab, stopping the entirety of Spit from being able to spawn in here. That is awesome. Uh, didn't hold it that long, though. So loose bands just get in. Does Loose fall to Smog? Oh my god. I hope Smog isn't holding the doorway. Changing up tactics here. Oh, he's going to start a bandage. Trying to do a bandage bait. Doesn't get the uh, enough of the sound off. And Seba's gonna come around the corner. And gets dropped. Drunk Donut managed to get him on the p revive. That is huge. It's gonna allow Spit to start spawning in again. Luce is gonna start bandaging. And Smog gets, uh, Smog gets both the kills. There's just a pile of bodies in here. Uh, Smog's gonna have a hard time holding this, I think. Spit might leave him alone after a little bit. Yep. Is there a guy around? There's still a guy. Yeah, yeah there's still one, maybe more. TT's coming in. You have to come in from the northeast balcony. Mortar, mortar this app again. Start mortaring this app. No, no. This is a. Such a micro portion of the map that makes such a huge advantage. And they get the trade! Oh, Smog can't be happy with that trade. Coming back out, uh, it's looks... Good time, Bato, but a good map control, and that, that's gonna rattle Spit a bit. Yep. Spit's taking out a Raven Hab to the west, and Spit needs these tickets. I don't believe the radio's on bleed. Nope, just down a level. And just gonna be up to Vex to hold this. So oh. Spit's going to Raven with Raven just did to Spit. Spit's gonna start getting yeah. some more bodies over here. Just got called out. XT drops uh, Peroni. And Spit's cleared it out, but enough time to possibly start digging. Uh, Vex can pick up Helix. That gives him three bodies over here. How's that north side looking? Uh, Raven's still struggling to move up. Oh, there's an airstrike coming in to Spitz Hab. Surely that airstrike doesn't do anything, right? No, no. That airstrike's going onto a BTR. Do they move? Yep, BTR is moving. Still close enough. And... Nothing. Oh, that man. airstrike got... Did he get spider? Nope, spider got shot before that. Back on the west side, Spitz taking down this uh, Raven Hab still. Radio should be on bleed out now. Bit is definitely playing for tickets now. Vex getting shot at? Um, yeah. Rotori may be able to get to that hab. We'll get to the radio. Vex drops. Nope. Wounds. Vex drops one, stays alive from sick ops. Sick couldn't get him through the window. And they trade! That is all Spit needed there, was a trade. Yeah, and that, that radio is done, that's another 10 tickets down the drain. Even if they take Kanepi at this point, they won't have enough tickets. Yeah, that's to be a roll. 
dig a power plant. Yep, so Raven probably doesn't know that, but they need to start getting in position for power plant. They gotta be thinking about now, buy, buy the tickets. Yep. 60 gives them not enough, right? Math? Hard? 20, yeah, 40, has to be 240. So it'd be 239 at this point. So yeah, they better roll them. Let's go back and get more. North side here, Raven's starting to get some more ground taken. But it's, it's too slow at this point to make a difference, I think. Raven's gonna have to go all in with armor to make make this happen. I've gotta imagine Spitz not 100% confident in their position at this point either. So Spit is able to ticket count really well. They're usually within about 10 or 20 tickets for where the enemy team is. They do a really good job of that. Yeah. So, obviously I don't know where they think they are, but... Uh, H. Jort is going for the Hab on Oru. Managed to hit the, uh, Scimitar. Scimitar is heavily damaged. And Raven going a three-man, four-man respawn for one guy in the back line. So one guy in the back line draws four guys off the fight, plus the two in the warrior. Gives uh, Spit a little bit of breathing room when you get that many people to respawn back there. Oh, they're. Never mind. Thank Good you talk. For your Spit's still holding this northeast side a bit barely. They're up there. Uh, Spit BTR is on top of enemy Hab. Uh, sees the radio, is gonna get the radio on bleed, and this BTR is gonna camp it down. BTR gets engined by a lot. It's gonna pop smoke. And they're gonna repair right next to an enemy hab. That is crazy. Oh, he's not, he isn't going for the repair, he's going straight for the tickets. He's gonna climb on top of the hab and just wait. BTR just spinning in circles, trying to buy time. And Otter's gonna jump out and repair, so they're gonna abandon the BTR. That is a technique. I surely don't know if it's a good one, but it is one. Rally's got wiped east side, blue gas station. Another lat goes into the BTR. BTR's at 72% health, engine's at 33%. I believe it's now drivable. It's a lot of respawns back in Oru from Raven. The top north is down. We got it. It's gone. Crazy, one guy caused that many respawns. Otter's gonna be getting back in the BTR shortly. Well, that happened at the same time that they lost their forward fobs. They're having to reset. Yeah, you are correct. They just lost both of their habs. Uh, Spit has managed to buy some time. They did abandon a BTR over here by this old hab, but yeah, the they might be able to recover that. So we can get it back. Our BTR is stranded there, don't. Looks like Raven's calling in lat reinforcements from Nuts and TH their TDH to get those tickets. Free BTR kill. Nuts sees it. Is he gonna try to go for the long shot and miss? Surely the caliber where these players are, it's not gonna be a miss, right? Did not disappoint. TDH is going in for a closer shot. And misses high. <laughs> uh, yep, had to, had to have that thing zero for two, three hundred meters. That's all right. Gets taken out by the scimitar. Proof that even pro gamers aren't perfect. Yeah. Someone needs to watch. Someone needs to watch the south. Looking at me as well. Are you not a double to do that, Helix? No. I, I was uh, this I was northeast push from Raven is definitely getting wiped down. Mark. If I get wiped, I'll come back. 
vehicle for coming down the train tracks. That's been called out. It's only one guy in it. So he's probably just driving around looking for rallies. Yeah, well, uh, one troop. Raven getting killed slowly to the north. And Spit on the south side in this factory, pushing into Oru again. This match has been a lot different from the previous one, that's for sure. A lot more going around, going on all around the place. I'm gonna fill in on the south south list. Can it? Spit gets wiped on the south side of Oru. Another 20 tickets lost on this one. Slow the fuck down. Drizzle calling out tickets being lost. Just saying we need to slow it down and play for the tickets. Ten of those tickets were to beat the arbitrated for a fall. Alright, Raven getting uh killed off slowly. Is Django just watching this LPBV? Oh, no fun there. Alright, big picture, Spit still has minimal map control, but what map control they do get, they're taking out attack habs and attack rallies. So, Spit's probably called out in Discord, hey, let's just defend Kanepi, play for the tickets, we had a big ticket game the first time. Uh, kill count, slightly in favor of Spit now. Raven, strong push on the south side. Of Oru. Just trying to stay in Kanepi about the buildings. Yep, Drizzle's oh, calling out, just stayed by Kanepi. Towards, uh, power. That big spawn of people that spawned at Oru are gaining map control. They're winning their fights. They're back on Foundry. They're pushing on a Kanepi. Yeah, we're going to be running into Vex and Mayonnaise here. Drizzle up in a uh, two story looking that way. Mayonnaise in a pretty exposed position. Taking the long shots of Jontu, doesn't get him. Gonna get killed from below by uh, Kerma. Vex is gonna get flanked from him. Nope. Vex is not gonna get flanked. Oh, those windows are terrible. OWI, please remove the blocks on the windows. Down goes Vex. Uh, Paku. Coming from left field, gets in the building with half of Spit's defense force. Uh, he's moving, he's moving. Alright, they called him out. Yeah, Holding yeah. the stairway. Swatching the stairs. So you got Loose waiting for him to come upstairs. Paku's gonna be clearing floor by floor. Nope, he's gonna go straight to the top. He knows where they're at. And gets instantly dropped. Raven on the west side of Kanepi here. Should be noted that if Raven loses no zero tickets, they have a chance of winning this game. If. As soon as they lose one more ticket, it's going to be a spit uh, match. There it goes. Even with 120 tickets for the next two caps from Kanepi and Power Plant, they cannot win this game. Kenshi, the train bridge is blocked. You can no longer use it. Raven is getting more and more south pressure on the there? southwest of Kanepi. Uh, also, they got a squad far south to be able to flank around. Spit mortars dropping on the southwest push. Just out of position, though. Second barrage gets one. Somehow drunk. This is a great round of squad. Yes. Uh, I'd like to point out, drunk donut killed somebody with a med kit. What? <laughs> Do you see that? Oh, this is the occasional bug. I've seen it posted somewhere. I think no. uh, if you, I think if you throw a grenade and then switch to your med kit, the med kit in your hand will show that you got a med kit kill. Doesn't matter. Got a medkit kill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for the follow, Rio. I appreciate that. 
Uh, Spitz losing control on the west side, losing control on the south side. Gaining control on the north? Let me on, let me on. Yeah, they're getting all the revives up there on the north side. Where this mob was earlier. TT on the mortar getting pressured. Uh, what does he have for kills? I know he's been pretty much on the thing the whole, whole time. He's 7 and 10 with zero downs. Uh, his counter mortar partner is Bert, who is 4 and 16. Um, looks like Bert's doing better, but he's got two deaths, so maybe Bert's been infantry a little bit. Looks like TT kind of just runs out to the mortar, shoots mortars, gets back in the building, and hides until they get a new mission. Very good play. Spit mounting up in the buildings, looking directly west towards Raven. Uh... Raven's gonna need to start pushing him from the south side a little bit harder because Spitz countering the west pretty well. Okay. He should be all the way down. I mortared him like eight times. TT saying that he mortared the enemy mortar, so he counter mortared it. Maybe he said it should be all the way down. A lot of gunfights from range. Spit in the upper story or, up, or two stories and three stories, trying to get uh, Raven pushing in from the west. Uh, we got a little bit of a skirmish on the north side of Kanepi. Uh, Spitz still winning that with a handful of people they have up there. And we're still getting bodies from Raven spawning off the Hab. Uh, looks like Squad 5 from Raven may have just lost their rally, and that's why they had a reset. UAV is up. Are we getting arty strikes? Yep. That's a Spitz strike coming in, I believe, on that Raven. Uh, yep. So it's just gonna come down and clear the west side for him. And it's just slightly too far south to wipe a squad spawning in on a rally. So it clears out that west side for spit. Excellent artillery strike coming in there. Gruncha manages to live in the world's crappiest barn. Raven is getting a hab up here. But I can't hear you. I'm uh watching amazing freedom for shells fall. Sorry, what? Oh, Raven's getting a hab down where? On the west side. Canopy, pretty close. Nice! Get the Lodge Shark out of there as well. Earlier. Too little too late at this point, I think. 57 tickets, it's not going to get him much of anything. Uh, they would have to have a lot of people down and ready to spawn in with Artillery Strike just coming in. Uh, they still do have some guys alive. Yeah, if, they, if they're playing for the win, which I, which, which I think they still are, I mean, you know. Why wouldn't you? Win the match, win the match, win the firefight. Yep. Brag, brag that you beat Spit second. And you didn't just get it and hold safe, you beat him. Uh, are there's match time? Right? Hour time limits? Or no, they're out. They're 90 minute time limits. So we probably won't reach the time limit here. Raven Mortar's coming back down again. Not super effective. But a lot of Raven, like one and two mans running around instead of groups of them. Have you been noticing that as well? Um, their flank squads are a little small still. Um, a lot of them are two and three, yeah. So it's kind of poking around, seeing what's going on, but not really winning the fights with two, sometimes even three. Yeah. Paco goes down? That would have, nope. That was Zulu getting mowed down by Joel Jim. To confirm, match time would be an hour, 15 minutes. Okay. But I agree, I don't see 55 tickets making it that far. Bert counters uh, Spitz Mortars. TT goes down for the first time this match. But it's okay, Drizzle's there to save the day. More Raven Mortars dropping on top of Spitz bodies. Uh, Scimitar is down south. They have the Scimitar and the Warrior on the southwest side. 
really preventing Spit from being able to clear that out easily. Uh, it doesn't look like Spit has any armor up on the map right now. Uh, they realize they're low on tickets, and they're not willing to risk the t tickets, I think. I'm gonna hold yeah, Raven's really done a good job getting up here on the west side of Canopy. Yep. It's hard to push into these buildings, though. It's really easy to lock down a lane and just hold. Yeah, I mean, you really have to push Canopy from the north. Uh, it's kind of hard to push it straight from the west. But Spit's doing a really good job at preventing that. Uh, three GL kills in a row there. Maki gets a double kill and Zulu gets one right after him. Kills are kind of going back and forth. Spit still has a 40 kill lead almost. And 30 kill down advantage. Huh. Spit just getting a lot of kills in a row right there. And Raven actually getting onto the cap zone on Kanepi, I believe. Yep. Yep. They're wrapping it from the east to the uh, not a whole lot of spit guys actually in the cap zone. They're all around it. We don't have enough Raven could body this if they got the people in. Yeah, if they can manage to get a hold of that street there, they just keep them off the point, then uh, they, they could cap this. This is a feature I really wish was available in squad, is actually seeing how big the cap zone is from the ground level. Like, I would like to hit 6 when I'm an infantryman and see what the actual cap zone is. Zed's mopping up a little bit of the Raven guys. He's got a good flank here. If he pushes it, he can take out the remaining guys holding fast. It's still a huge stream of spit kills coming in here. Raven's struggling to push in these en entrenched spits. Uh, Spit's calling out that he needs people to look east because he, they're, he's positive they're gonna wrap east. Oh, is, uh... love the fog of war. Otter drops CTAS. No, that's a standard point I think, right? Believe that's a warrior. But more tickets away from. Uh, Raven. Raven's still in the lead here. Oh, we're getting a Raven artillery strike. Is that a static or a creeping? It is a creeping. Creeping's always good or an answer when you can't. You get a lot more actual rounds than a creeping. So you can take and you can squeeze it together and just bomb it. It's, it's a lot. It's like 40% more rounds I think you get from creeping than a static. Yeah, I'm tracking creeping is the way to go. Always the way to go. Just the first couple of rounds of the markings, I thought it was a uh, static. That artillery strike gets no one. Spit is wrapped up in the buildings, holding it on strong, and that artillery strike was just a lot of noise for nothing. Now, I'm after the storm, Kudu runs out across the street, gets dropped. By Kerma. I don't even know where that guy's at. And Raven trying to get back in position but getting shot from the flank. Getting into the north side, hello Mark. Calling in a lot of guys coming in from the north side in command chat. That's not untrue. Just a lot of them are sleeping right now. And Bert still on that mortar, still dropping rounds this entire match. And it looks like Spitz pretty much secured the cap zone. Got one Raven guy left alive in it. So the TDH to kill off the entirety of Spit. Alright. And this is the uh, the lean peeking I was talking about. You get a lot of just peeking out real quick, trying to get a shot off, peeking out real quick, trying to get a shot off. You don't see a whole lot of like hard peaks in a uh, high level comp play like this. Yeah, you can't. Uh, everyone here is able to two to three shots. That's what you usually get. Fits within 100 meters. Yep. 
uh, you get a locating shot, and then uh, you, you hit, either hit your first Close, two, or you can hit your third every time. Line behind on the observe, on line. Probably got him already. It's crazy, I feel like a lot of these guys are already holding on left click as soon as they right click because you've got that laser point accuracy. Uh, that's why you see a lot of uh, like higher level players using full auto. They pretty much memorize the center of their screen, they know where it's at, they put it on you, they right click and they left click and by the time they got sights on you, like you was just saying, that second and third runner should be coming in if the first one didn't hit. Trying to see where Raven can really make a play here. Um, at this point, they they're almost playing to lose the match or the round, leading a lot of tickets. Yeah, they are. They were fragging pretty good there for a bit, but um... once Spit said screw it and dug in, uh, they did call out, "Hey, let's just defend, get up in the buildings," and they started losing or started winning a lot of their fights. We really only see a handful of spit guys on the north and the south, kind of just basically being a screening force. Kenji, Kenji, bring, bring 600 build to me, Kenji, and the rest ammo. Matty, maybe the Spit's the, the calling in for a Logi run? Surely not at Oru. Gotta be a power plant call, right? No! Spit is trying to get a fob up to the northeast of Kanepi on uh, squad 7 up there. That is crazy. There's a 30 tickets for Spit. Two Spit rallies just got melted south of power plant. Uh, good calls uh, in command chat. They're getting overwhelmed and immediately calling out, "Hey, we need help." BTR was killed by a mercenary. Is that what they call the mine? Maybe. Or is there a guy named Mercenary? I'm not tracking. Yep, there's a guy named Mercenary. I'm special. So BTR down. 17 tickets for rally. Or why do I keep calling rally? Spit. Derp. Too much casting. Uh, Raven's getting more and more bodies actually on Kanepi here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good there. Nope. But it's still that building. It's Never mind. One building. Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Lunar Owns... Lunar, Lunar Owns Twitch? Own, owns Twitch? Okay. I can't speak either. These are long matches to keep talking through, man. Mouth's all dry. Uh, yep, Ravens kind of get it onto the cap. Pretty much a moot point at this time frame. Looks like they might have this in the bag unless Spit can just destroy a bunch of them. 15 minutes left in the round, regardless of what happens. I don't think we're going to see another 15 minutes with 16 tickets left. Anything's possible, right? Looks like Raven is well, starting to hold their tickets. It, it would be very tough to be possible. Um, you got a minus one per minute, 16 tickets. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, props to Spit if they can lose nothing but their ticket bleed for the next 15 minutes, you know what I mean? I mean, look at the revives. Both teams. Uh, holy Jesus. I haven't seen this many revives in from each team in three or four pub matches combined. That is yeah. insane. You've got 19 from Leo Rag, 17 from Guax, 16 from Loose, 14 from Neil, 15 from Jam, 13 Kodu, 22 from Spider. They and then. Really, really great job, both teams on revives here. Yep. Look at this, Grutcha, 34. This man has killed one person, knocked down seven, died eight times, but revived 34 people. That is insane. If you don't think you can play at a competitive level, just pull out an aid bag, apparently. <laughs> you can still be effective. Spit's starting to push down on the south side. It looks like uh, Raven's trying to hold some tickets here or there. 
these guys that, that have been down on uh, Kanepi Point have been down for a hot minute now. Yeah, there's a lot of people down for 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 Raven Rogue right now. And Spit is not not at all doing that. I don't see anybody from Spit that's down unless they got friendlies nearby. Raven is continuing to try to push through this open ground. Project Rogue Raven? It's a mouthful. Um, Bodies on cap again. Just uh, three guys from Spit countering the cap. Another airstrike coming in. Ooh, where? Probably from Spit on Raven. It's gotta be. There's an artillery strike static coming in too. Smoke. It's probably smoke. Where's where's the airstrike coming in at? Am I blind? On the southwest side of Canopy. Mm, okay, I don't see it. All right. But there's a smoke barrage coming in from Raven, I think. Something you do not see get used very often. Yeah, basically the entirety of Rogue Raven is down on the west side over there right now. Right where that airstrike's coming in at. I still do not see this airstrike marker. Come on, game. It's gonna be right there where the Squad 8 and the 4 Rally are at. Okay. Oh, that was actually a static artillery barrage. Ah. Didn't think that would be off cooldown yet. First round wounds four guys, though. Dropped right on top of a rally. And Raven still having issues pushing in here. No idea how C. Appy didn't get dropped there. Oh, there it goes. Maddie gets at least one with his artillery strike. Eight tickets left for Spit. Closing the gap slowly. But fighting against that ticket bleed, definitely not helping him out. In these extra 15 minutes, going a full hour long match playing at this level is really tough. Um, Whoa! Huge! H. Johort just took out a Logi truck. Now we're down within four tickets of each other. We could actually see a slight win by Spit, which I wasn't expecting to see. Raven, if they want to win this round, really needs to pull off and just hold. They got a lot of people down, though. I mean, I'm not seeing very many Spit people down at all, are you? Trying to see where Raven's really doing anything right now. Couple guys up here and there. Within two. Smog's getting some kills. Grutcha pushing back up as a medic. Probably getting padding and stats even more with his revives. Uh, Spit drops two more tickets. They're down to four. Coming down to the wire. I'm just impressed at the constant fight at this point. No point did any team let up. CTAS takes a round, it's down to 30%. If you get one more shot off on it, that would be it. Don't think anybody from Spit's got a shot on it. Spit doesn't have any armor to react either, so that's not going to be what ends this. Three tickets for Spit, seven for Raven. Small group up in this barn again. And Spit's pushing out into Cory. 
one second left for spit. Do Vashin drops three? Lamel. Five to one? I'm gonna say seven. Spit's calling out that they have 72 tickets. They're calling out they have 40 tickets. Five! Five tickets! Raven manages to pull out the win. That was a crazy match. Didn't expect it to go that way. That that was that was great. Hot to fry again. Uh, XT 19 and 6, the Hort 13 and 8, Vex 14, Trixie apparently had a boat load, Trixie 20 and 4. You know something's wrong? Crazy kills on both teams there. And that match is over. Yeah, that, I don't know what's up with my squad, but it just froze now, so, uh, can I, can I ult for it? Please. So Spit wins that by 240 some odd tickets, right? It's gonna be uh, 245. Yep. Uh, uh. And updating the stream real quick on the title while they talk. Boom. And that will be game. Um, any commentary you'd like to put in for that last match? Um, uh, that's the uh, second game especially. That's 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 a really really good squad. Darva is one of the best maps to watch good teams fight because you get good fights everywhere, um, all the time. You lose one fight, it's on to the next one. Um, so anyone in Raven watching, like obviously you guys know you're really good. Um, even their comms at the end, where this is just training to get good for the end of the match. I think that's a good perspective. You you, you beat Spit in one round. Um, that's a really, really good game. So I'm excited to see games. them fight again uh, some to, somewhere near the fi finals and see if Raven can beat them out. Yep. There's, uh, there's a lot of competition at the top tier, so it, it's definitely possible to see uh, something like that come up. Only takes so. one major mistake in the beginning of a round for a team to have an advantage. Yeah. A lot of great fights, a lot of slogs. Um, last round it was Oru, this round it was Kanepi. It seems like the British definitely have an advantage on rollouts on that map. And subjectively, better kits in my opinion. But, great match all around. Uh, you got anything else, Ellie? Nope, uh, that'll be it. I'll go ahead and uh, go finish up my rest stuff. Uh, sorry I didn't talk too much, I was kind of focused on making sure I was reading the rules and keeping everything going. But, uh, good game. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yep. Alright, uh, appreciate everyone for watching. Please feel free to follow. If not, I get it! I don't want to follow everybody I watch from time to time. Makes sense. Um, I will be casting SCS um, at 8pm Eastern, so in about 4 hours. Um, that is, if you haven't heard of SCS, it's where some of the community clans get together, they put together a squad or two each, and it's just a, I don't know, clan versus clan, uh, pub match, basically. Uh, so, more competitive than a pub match, but not as competitive as this, if that makes sense. Uh, definitely worth watching, happens every Sunday, and if you're in a clan that's not an SCS, uh, you should definitely check it out. Uh, I will post the link to their Discord here shortly. Um, boop. And that goes in here. SES Discord. And I will catch you guys in about.